stuff. Is there a specific thing you want to knit, or are you just going to keep knitting? Now, when you actually think about knitting, it has lots and lots of different <laughs> meanings. Like knitting, it's mending. Yeah. Like if you break your bones and you're knitting it together, knit your brow. That is thinking about things. And, and so, so apart from the sort of symbolic uh, um, yes. power of it, yeah. what, what, are you all knitting a specific thing? Yeah. You know the old legend about Bridget's cloak? No. So Bridget had a cloak and her father came along and said to her, you're always nagging for, for me to give you a piece of land. I'll give you a piece of land as large as the cloak. And the cloak spread over the whole of Kildare. Right. And that's when all the monasteries for women were set up. So if we did a huge cloak and put it over Shannon, right. it then would be a military-free zone. Wouldn't that be a good idea? They, they certainly think Shannon Airport has been replaced by a huge woolen hat. <laughs> Or a beautiful, soft cloud. Warm as well, it's good for the environment. You wouldn't have to spend as much money on, on burning fossil fuels. Absolutely, and everyone could come along and roll in, in the lovely soft world, couldn't they? They could. Well, we have to leave it there. We wish you the very best. OK, we well, listen, John, how about joining us in knitting? I, I, well, I have to, I have to work on my pearl and plane technique, but uh, okay. when I hear there's a huge hat has appeared uh, in the city of Shannon Airport, I'll be right down. Is rising. Okay, above it. Is too. rising, rising, rising. Okay. And over. Okay. Almost. We're almost there. You have up. the right, okay? And so that's that's the right. So okay, that's yeah, that's yeah. Right. Taking that up. Okay. That's. You know, you're familiar with the term wool gathering in English. Well, it comes from the notion of women gathering the wool together for knitting, you know, they're gathering it in their hands. But knitting is quite hypnotic because you get into a rhythm and it's very relaxing. So in general, men don't like to be in rooms with women knitting. And what happened in the Danish court, I think it was around the 18th century, they actually, the they decided that women were actually, while they were wool gathering, they were in their own minds and they were fantasizing about other men. So it was actually officially banned. So pe women had to knit in secret. So it was quite a clandestine activity. <laughs> During the French Revolution, people used to go, the women oh, used to assemble the tea and yeah. they used to watch it. They used to knit and knit away while people were being executed. Oh, yeah. They found knitting among Native American Indians dating back to 4,000 years BC. Really? Yeah. They, it's much, much older than they actually thought. Really? Very popular nowadays, they have knit and knit and bitch circles. So the, the younger women all get gathered together. Knit, stitch and bitch, that's what it's called. Not knit and bitch, but stitch and bitch. <laughs> You've done all that, have you? I've done all this, yes. Yeah, that's yeah come on now. That's the first time you've knitted? Yes. Come on. It's something, it's like, they say it reflects, oh Jesus, yeah. Knitting is a symbol of many things. It's a knitting together things that are broken. And our society has been broken by wars, by the American military using Shannon. It's broken, broken lives, broken society. And so it's a kind of symbol of hoping that we can bring some kind of unity. With the, with the, on, on the women's camp that was first set up uh, before the Iraq war back in January, what was that, 2003 was it? It was you and Mary Kelly. Yeah, Mary Kelly and me. And Esther, were you there at that first knowledge demand camp? The one with the yes, camp I down made there. It was yes, yeah. And I can't get. I can't get we did. We set it up, didn't we? Um, yeah. And then it became really big, didn't it? So ever it since then, sense. is there's always been a knowledge demand. So that this time, because it was a Tuesday, so there was some kind of feeling that maybe it should be at the weekend. But Fiona said no, that we should keep the day, sixth of January. Because the women have all been exhausted cooking for Christmas, for the 12 days of Christmas. And then, when, and so this is the day that they have. Is 
My father used to always say you should never go near a woman with pitting needles. <laughs> Make it all seem better. Or am I repeating me <laughs> But I can't hide what I feel inside. To say what really matters. I can't go on like this. Watch you slip away. There's no chance we could miss. Won't come another day. I could fall from the sky, and I know that I could fly. I would walk a million miles. If I could only see you smile. And I would give all I am. I'd give it all again if I could hold you in my arms once again. If I could hold. You in my arms once again. Thank God for the knitting. Oh, sir. Thank God for the knitting.